Poland in the middle of September to discuss the Greek debt crisis. American Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner joined them. Fabian Zulig, chief economist at the European Policy Center in Brussels, said the United States was right to get involved. The intervention from the U.S. has also shown at least a risk that the stability of the financial system as a whole, the global financial system, might be under threat again. Earlier, the leaders of France, Germany, and Greece held a conference call to discuss how to contain Europe's deepening financial crisis. Germany and France are Europe's two largest economies. Seventeen European Union countries use the euro as their currency. On September 15th, five major central banks agreed to lend additional dollars to European banks in the Eurozone. The European Central Bank says the three-month loans will provide as many dollars as the banks need. The operations will end in December. The European Central Bank is acting with the United States Federal Reserve, the Bank of England, the Bank of Japan, and the Swiss National Bank. The announcement helped lift European bank shares and major European stock lists. The Paris-based Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development has lowered its growth estimates for the euro area. In Greece, the economy has shrunk this year. German Chancellor Angela Merkel urged Eurozone nations to do everything possible to avoid an uncontrolled insolvency by Greece. On September 13th, she warned that problems would quickly spread if Greece failed to pay its international rescue loans. And, she said, if the euro fails, Europe fails. The next day, European Commission President José Manuel Barroso spoke to the European Parliament. He announced that the Commission would propose creating euro bonds. The idea is for Eurozone governments to jointly